Okay, the last of our lessons, uh, videos for these sessions, is looking at quizzes, the activities you love to hate. Um, but these quizzes are actually really good. They give you um, immediate feedback on what you got wrong, what you got right, and what your grade is straight away. So um, most of the time you'll get immediate feedback and you'll get a grade back straight away. I know probably in um, previous years you've had to wait weeks uh, in order to get a grade back for a particular assignment that you've uh, submitted or an exam that you've done. Well, this is pretty instantaneous um, and you can have a look at the questions you got wrong and work out your revision plan from there. So let's dive in. Let's have a look at quizzes. We'll click on quiz. And it takes you to the quiz page. Uh, let's just take a little minute to have a look at the quiz page here. Um, it gives us our title up here. And our instructions here now, these instructions just say here is a quiz, good luck. But the teacher could give you very specific instructions about when to do the quiz. Um, that can also be set and where to do it as well. Um, it can be under very strict conditions. So a lot of instructions and a lot of guidelines can come in there. The things that you want to know is that how many times can I have a go at it? Well, that's up to the teacher, really. Um, in this case here, you have three attempts. And uh, if we skip down to the bottom bit here, it says the grading method. It gives you the highest grade. So in this case, the quiz allows you to have three attempts, and it scores your top attempt, um, which is good. They can, you can also be an average it could be an average of um, some of the questions, all of the questions, and so forth. Um, and there could be a time limit on the quiz. Uh, it could be as long or as little or no time limit at all, depending on the teacher's discretion. So let's click in and have a go at the quiz. I'm just going to arrange it ever so slightly so it's all on the screen. Now at the moment, on this one here, um, you can see there's the timer. The timer's ticking down. Um, and there's plenty of time on this quiz. Um, the first thing to note is that the quiz um, questions are laid out in boxes, so it's easy to see one quiz question from the next. Okay. Um, other things we can do, we can flag those questions as well. So let me just click on that one there. And I flagged that particular question. You'll see a little bit later how that works. Um, and then we've got different types of questions. We've got multiple choice. We'll see a little bit further down. We've got some um, fill in the blank exercises. We can have some typed questions. Uh, we can have all sorts of different types of questions. Um, the typed questions, however, will have to be graded by the teacher. The computer is not clever enough to figure out a grade for you if you type something in, so you might have to wait until the teacher marks that particular section. Um, there's a navigation section here. You can skip to any particular question you want by clicking on the number. In this case, there happens to be 20 questions. Let's go through and just randomly pick. Now, you can actually submit each question at a time uh, if we want to. So let's just have a look at this one and click Submit. So I've chosen B here. And you can see it's given us um, a partially right answer. Next to each quiz question, if you get it right or wrong or partially right, it'll give you a bit of feedback. So it's partially right, there is a better answer. Um, this particular quiz, you can attempt it as many times as you want. That's up to the teacher again. It has, however, given us a penalty of 0.6 out of 3 for this particular quiz. Um, so if that's up to the teacher again, he can give you no penalty, he or she can give you no penalty for that particular quiz, or it could be um, a maximum penalty, so you could end up getting no answers, uh, no marks for that particular answer, even if you attempt all the questions. So. So let's continue on with the quiz. Let's just choose some random answers. I'm not going to submit each question because it would take too long. We'll go to the next page. So there are five questions on this page. All 20 questions could be on one page. 
Uh, again, that's up to the teacher. Now, let's just check up here. And you can see um, five of those boxes are now greyed out. That means you answered five out of 20 questions. So it gives you um, a lot of feedback there. Again, you can see the time is still going down there. Let's just... In fact, I'm just going to flag another one there. Go down and answer. There we are, it's a true-false question there. Let's go to the next. Now at the moment you can see these true-false questions are all, well, they're all true-false at the moment, but the teacher can mix them all up. It doesn't have to be um, all multiple choice followed by all true-false. And in fact, you'd be very glad to hear that your questions might be completely different from another student's because you can randomly assign questions to a quiz as well. So isn't that fun? Okay, so we've answered all the questions now. Um, if I click next, now if we just scroll back up there, you can see 16 to 20. It doesn't look as though you submitted it at the moment, but that's because we haven't gone to the next page. So let's scroll down here and go to the next page.